On that he's on this foot action line bro this line is the last time i saw this line this big was for like bro, for 72 tens no we got the six 72 tens bro the six yeah. was long bro. yeah that line long. was long this is crazy yo these, these 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 are so available it's not even a joke like it's crazy it's so crazy like it it, it goes it probably goes around the block too look did you see the first compressor run that they He's 130 at the end of the day. Yeah. All right, guys. So he's gonna pick up his pair. He reserved three pairs. He got one for Full Locker, Fanatic, and Champs. That's insane. None of us have ever hit on Champs. Like Champs is the hardest because there's less Champs in the city, so it's a lot harder to hit. Full Locker, Foot Action. We have a whole bunch of those. So you know, especially Full Locker. There's just so many Foot Lockers here in New York City. But anyways, he's gonna go pick up his pair from Foot Action right now. Um, and then he's gonna go all the way to Harlem to get his other pair because they sent him all the way to Harlem. And uh, the kid gotta go to Fifth Ave to get my pair from Adidas. And I actually won another raffle. It wasn't for a pair of Adidas, it was for some Nikes. I'm gonna just say it right now. It was for some Dornbeckers, all right? I've been wanting a pair of Dornbeckers for the longest. My favorites are probably like the, I wanna say like the threes or the eights, the Dornbecker eights, the threes. Those are like my favorites, but I managed to cop the up temples man that's crazy like i found out that nike was doing the draw i signed up for it i had my mom sign up for it i had one of my co-workers from work sign up for it, one of my homies and i was the one that ended up winning like that's crazy i woke up one day saw the email i didn't believe it i'm like bro how the hell i never won a raffle from this i didn't even know what it was like i didn't even know what the email was like like that was crazy so i'm gonna go pick it up i have until like seven so it's gonna be an interesting day yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, you know, I don't know what happened in the last clip, but we split up for a little while because he went to Harlem to get his pair. This way, he went to Harlem to get his pair, and I had to go to Fifth Ave to get my pair. Now, yo, show him the bag, bro. Show him the bag. Yo, for you it was in and out, right? In and out. Yo, OD. Yo, I went over there, uh, and the guy just asked for my ID. Sent me to the restaurant. For me, nah. Fifth Ave, that, that they had, they must have had like thousands of pairs in stock because not only was there a long line outside the store, but then once we got inside, it was like some Six Flags type line, like it was crazy like that. I'm paying for my for my, my pair, and my car got to climb, bro. I'm like, bro, I had a feeling this was gonna happen, so I was waiting to pay, and, and like I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, yo, a lot of stuff was going on today. When that what first came, what did they decline my card? And next thing I know, they do. I'm like, go I'm like, I told the lady, like, swipe that again. <laughs> Cause I know there's money on there. And she's like, nah, it's the client. I'm like, bro. And she's like, oh, she said that a lot of people that have Chase got the client today. So call your bank. Why don't you step aside, call your bank and get it figured out. I'm like, all right. I called my bank. It was just, you know, it's fraud protection. I understand that, you know, a lot of scammers out here these days. But it just sucks because when you're a victim, like, I, I don't know what it was. Like, I was chilling, bro. Like, what I got to do is before drops like this, I got to tell them, like, yo, listen, I'm going to be, you know, spending some money today. Like, don't. Please don't block my car. There's no fraud going on. Make sure that only happened for TNF or for both. For real, bro. Yeah, they they will make you leave, bro. They will kick you out if that happens. Yeah, if that happens at Supreme, if your car gets a client Supreme, they're not gonna give you a chance to call your bank. They're gonna tell you, all right, sorry, next time. Get out of here. Says it like prior to the before you go in the store. They're like, make sure y'all y'all funds is hanging. Call the bank. Yeah, like I can't have that happen, bro. But anyways, guys, right now we're going to Nike Lab because I'm gonna go pick up my um. DB of temples and that should be it for the day well i'm gonna go home drop everything off i might be coming back out here to get some clear shoe boxes for this for the you know my, my, my room because i told you guys i'm trying to like fix it up and whatnot i'm trying to like have all my sneakers in clear boxes and i heard there's like a sale right now what would you say bro what'd you say it was like um six boxes yesterday for 30 dollars and we usually spent like like 62 on it 
Yeah. Oh, look at this line of off white, bro. They probably doing something over here, bro. Imagine like pretzels, first come, first Pull up. Something going on over here, bro. Look at this line of off white, man. They probably restocked to something. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're here. Alright guys, all done. Pick it up. This is a crazy month, bro. Come over here, right? Oh, this is a crazy month for crazy releases, week. man. The people that cooked on everything, they spent so much money, bro. Like, they're they're gonna, they're gonna they spent it. a lot of money this month. Just this one month. Like that's crazy, man. But yo, what do you think about the, the Beluga 2.0s, man? I like them. I I'm gonna keep it a bunker try, like I was supposed to trade with him. Um, I was gonna give him my 11, he was gonna give me a 10 and a half. But I tried on the 11 inch store. They look really nice. I tried it on my feet, both the pairs, walked around and done a little bit. <laughs> then I sold it. And I then he like, sold them. Savage. <laughs> I was like, it fits good. And he actually had the, the original Belugas last year and he sold them. <laughs> man, bro. My son really about this resale life, man. Damn. Who taught you, bro? Who, who did this to you, bro? Who, who, who? The hood. The hood did this. The hood. Brooklyn. The opportunities. Yeah, I like that, bro. I like that. So I'm exhausted. I don't know if you guys can see it in my face, but I had no sleep last night. I woke up extremely early today, the day of the release of the Yeezys, so I can make sure that I got everything taken care of. And I'm ex extremely exhausted right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the pickup real quick, because I know that's what you guys wanna see. I'm gonna go ahead and show the Yeezys first because I kind of already know what these look like, you know what I mean? Like, you guys know what they look like, but let's just go ahead and show them, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna save the dorm baggage for last because those are those are kind of special so you know so here we have the easy 350 box simple box nothing different boost on that side nothing on this side label on this side size 10 and a half that's my normal size people ask what's the sizing on v2s i say go half size up don't go half size down half size up because these fit extremely snug and this is the kind of shoe where if you get the right size they're actually pretty comfortable you know what i mean so you, you want to make sure you go half size up in my opinion so when i went to go buy these at the adidas store in, in uh fifth avenue in the city without me even asking like the employees just like opened the box and you know she made sure that you know both shoes were a size 10 and a half because sometimes you know people will get a pair of shoes and one shoe's not the right size so i guess they weren't trying to hear none of that so they made sure that everything was good set to go Go ahead and open this up. Damn. And here we have them, guys. The Yeezy 350 V2 Beluga 2.0. These are these are pretty clean, man. This is my first time actually seeing them like in my hands and like actually looking at them really, really up close. These are these are pretty clean and they look sick on feet. I saw somebody, I saw a kid with them on feet. They look they look dope. Like they really look fire. Um, these are dope, man. These are definitely one of those shoes where you can pretty much wear this with like pretty much anything. You know what I mean? You can. This is like an everyday type of shoe. It's not a dark color. It's not too light of a color. So this is definitely one of those shoes where you can just throw on, especially for the fall. You know what I mean? You have your SPOY 350 in this red or orange. It kind of looks like an infra infrared in my opinion. I'm not really sure if that's orange or not. It's supposed to be orange because the belugas were orange, right? So. I'm assuming this is orange. Doesn't look orange, but it, 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 let's say it's orange. Got the, the back tab, orange as well, or red. Pretty clean. Great translucent outsole. Like I said, V2s are pretty comfortable. I already know these are gonna fit me pretty good, I hope. Let's wait for this helicopter to pass before he messes up my shot. And here we have them. So, yeah. These are extremely available. Some of you guys even said that you guys cop, so that's what's up. I like hearing you guys cop, so. That's what's up guys, congratulations. I hope you guys keep them. Let me know if you guys copped and let me know if you guys are going for the blue tints next month, which is literally in like three weeks. You know what I mean? Like before you know it, that release is gonna be right around the corner. You know what I mean? Like it's coming up very, very soon. So, all right, now this is the pair of shoes that I actually wanna see, man. I didn't even get a good look at these in the store cause I just wanted to get out of there, you know, just get my pair and bounce cause I wanna get home already. You do have this dope blue 
Nike Freestyle Dornbecker box. This is a this is a nice box. This is one of those boxes where you kind of want to keep it. You know what I mean? Like the Jordan 11s. Like you want to keep that box. So we take the top off real quick. So here on the lid of the box, we have the creator, the, the designer of the of this design of the shoe. His name is Brody Miller, and that's what the BPM on the shoe stands for. It's Brody P. Miller. I'm not sure what his middle name is, but I will find that out. This is such a fire colorway of the Up Temples. Like it was one of those shoes where like I, I I wanted it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it. Let's go ahead and just show the the packaging really quick. This is some nice packaging, man. When they when they throw stuff in like this, you know what I mean? Like look at this. It makes me like want to be extremely careful. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to damage this. There we go. Damn, these are clean, man. I'm actually wondering how these are gonna fit because I know that this is like a bulky shoe. I'm hoping that it doesn't fit me big because I actually want to keep these. I don't want to be worrying about having to find a trade. Like I actually want to wear these. You know what I mean? And looking at them from a first glance, I think these are good. I think these are gonna fit. Here we have them. These are fire, bro. The quality on these is amazing. The upper is like a. I don't know if this is Nubuck or what, but this is fire, man. This is straight dope, bro. And it looks like tumbled leather, but it's not. It's not leather. It's like Nubuck. It's dope. And you can see like on the outer, on the outer lining of the letters, you see like that, that rainbow effect. Yo, Brody, congratulations, man. This is one of the, this is, to me, this is one of the dopest shoes out of the entire Nike Dornbecker Freestyle collection. Like out of all the collections they've had, like this is one of the dopest shoes in my opinion, not just because this is my first Dornbecker shoe. And I'm proud that this is my first Dornbecker shoe. You know what I mean? Like this is dope. I really like the threes. I like the eights. I like the fours. This is fire right here too. Like, look at the laces, man. Look at, like, like look at the laces, bro. Yo, th this reminds me of Quagmire from, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if I should be comparing him to this, this shoe. Fire, but look at the outsole, the back of the shoe. These are fire, man. Bro. Shout out to you, Brody, man. These are, these are so clean, man. These are dope. You did a great job on these, bro. You did a great job on these. You have that lightning ball right there on the toe cap, bro. Damn, man, these are so clean. I actually do want to give you guys an actual review of those shoes and of the Yeezys, of course. So let me know down below if you guys actually want to see a review of them, especially like my on foot. I haven't done an on foot on this channel in so long. Like, I haven't done a sneaker review in so long, period. Like, the last shoe I did was probably the off-white Presto. Like, it was that long ago. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm not really sure how long this video came out to because I wasn't really vlogging too much because it was a hectic day, but I hope that you guys still enjoyed it either way nonetheless if you guys did be sure to hit that thumbs up and if you're new to this channel you haven't already subscribed join the fam subscribe to the kid thank you for watching this is chris gc kicks i'll catch you guys in the next video i'm out of here i need a nap peace